Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a review on the latest release from Burberry and this is Burberry Her Elixir. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Amy. On this channel, I talk about all things girly. If you like that type of content, don't forget to subscribe before you leave today's video. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you here with me today and I appreciate you so, so much. With that said, let's get right into today's review and let's find out if Burberry Her Elixir is a hit or a miss. All right guys, so I received my Burberry Her Elixir. I ordered this off of Macy's website and I got it in the 1.6 fluid ounce. So I did get the full bottle of this one because I do love the original Burberry Her, which here is my original bottle and it does have a bit of a dent going on. And I also have been wearing it a lot recently because I did put it on my September tray. So I went ahead and just ordered the full size bottle because I thought that it was a safe blind buy that I would use it. So I went ahead and just got the bigger full size bottle. So here is the bottle for the Burberry Her Elixir. And right off the bat, the first thing that I'm going to say is I prefer see-through bottles because I like to know what type of dent I'm making on the fragrance and you cannot see anything with this one. So I have worn this for two to three days testing it out. So I am sure that there is a dent and I do have a lot of thoughts. But before I get into that, I'm going to read the main accords for you and the notes like how I always do just to get an idea of what to expect from the fragrance. So the main accords for Burberry Her Elixir are fruity, sweet, amber, vanilla, white floral, and powdery. So the top notes are strawberry and blackberry. The middle note is jasmine and the base notes are amber, vanilla, and sandalwood. I'm going to put up the notes for the original Burberry Her as well. So I'm going to put them each side by side and the original Burberry Her has way more notes. It has strawberry, raspberry, blackberry, sour cherry, black currant, mandarin orange, lemon. That is just all in the top notes. Then you have violet and jasmine in the middle notes and the base note is musk, vanilla, cashmere, woody notes, oak moss, amber, and patchouli. So as you can see, there is a difference in the notes and the Burberry Hair Elixir is more focused on just the strawberry, blackberry, jasmine, and the base notes are vanilla, woody type, ambery notes. I was expecting it to be like pretty different. That's kind of what I was expecting. I am wearing it today. And the first thing I am going to say is I love the smell of it because I do love the original Burberry Her, but I do feel like this kind of turns into a skin scent pretty quickly. It's not one of those fragrances where I am smelling it a lot around me, but it reminds me a lot of the original Burberry Hurt. So if I was applying this and I wasn't smelling the original Burberry Hurt side by side, I really wouldn't smell too much of a difference. So that's kind of like just the overall like outlook on the fragrance, like summarizing it. I don't know if this is something that was needed. I'm not too sure. It's a beautiful strawberry, a little bit more syrupy than the original. And for sure, I feel like it has less of that powdery touch. So I'm going to spray a whole bunch on this hand. And then I am going to spray the original on the other just to kind of get a comparison side by side. I definitely smell more like fruity notes in the original Burberry Hair, like different types of berries. And then in the elixir, I do get the strawberry, but then I also get that blackberry mix in there. So I feel like it turns into like a more deeper syrupy type of berry scent. I do think that the elixir feels a little bit more sexy and grown when you are wearing it. I feel like it's more of an evening or fall and winter type of fragrance. So if you love Burberry Her, the original, and you want something that's a little bit more syrupy, a little bit more deep, but it still has the same exact scent. I feel like they're very, very similar. They just have differences in just the way that the fragrance presents itself. So the original, I feel like it's more airy. It's a little bit more powdery. It's a little bit like more fluffy. 
And then the elixir is definitely a little bit more syrupy. It's a little bit more closer to the skin. That's something else that I noticed with this one is that it stays a little bit closer to the skin. It is more syrupy. It's a little deeper, a little sexy, but the differences are very, very, just very small. It's not like you're smelling a huge difference between them. Now, I don't think that it is necessarily stronger or longer lasting. I think the longevity on me was about the same. It is a fragrance that lasts on me the entire day, but I don't feel like the elixir performs better or is longer lasting, at least on my skin. I kind of feel like they are the same and the elixir tends to kind of like disappear on me. So I'll smell it for a little bit and then I don't smell it. It's kind of like coming in and out. So I definitely think that the elixir is just a tiny bit more grown up from the original. Not that the original is juvenile or anything like that, but I do feel like the elixir is a little bit more serious, a little bit more grown up, but still having like that flirty strawberry and berries vibe to it. Now, if you already own the original Burberry Her, I would not tell you to run out and get the elixir. I don't think that it is a must. I don't think that you need to have both of these. Now, if you are a lover of the Burberry Her line, then I would say give it a try and you might find that little bit of a difference. Just to give you my quick opinion on the Burberry Intense, it was never a favorite of mine. Sometimes it would dry down a little bit too like medicinal on me. There was something about it that bothered me sometimes. So the overall scent was really nice, but there was a note in there or something in there that would get medicinal. It would get too like thick, too syrupy. It was not one that I ever had in my collection. This might have a little bit of the intense mixed with the original, but still it's just, it's not a huge difference. So if you already have Burberry here, I would say to finish up your bottle and then when you're done, if you're curious, you can try and pick up the elixir, but it's definitely not different enough to own both and if you're trying to keep your collection very unique and each perfume is different from each other then you probably wouldn't want to add this to your collection and remember this is my opinion this is kind of like how it performs on me on my skin so this is what my experience has been with this flanker so yesterday while i was testing it out i did notice that more than two or three hours into wearing the fragrance when the deep deep dry down is finally there i do notice way more amber and vanilla in the elixir than in the original burberry hair so i did notice a difference with that so it dries down to this vanilla sandalwood amber i do pick up a lot of amber but it's still soft and it does feel more grown up it feels a little more sophisticated this one to me is less powdery more syrupy a little closer to the skin so if you want to add a burberry hair for fall and winter this one would fit really really nice into those seasons because i'm pretty sure that once that dry down comes out in those seasons it will smell beautiful so this one is definitely more fluffy more powdery it's a little more airy as well so this is the original burberry hair and then the elixir is just more syrupy a little thicker it just has a little bit more weight to it if that makes any sense but it's not necessarily more strong but they both smell really really nice now i think there's still something in the original burberry hair that i prefer it just it has this beautiful airiness towards the end of you smelling it that is just so beautiful and that powdery scent to me is amazing even though i'm not a person who loves powder in all of my fragrances but there are some fragrances where the powdery note just adds to it and it doesn't add like a vintage powdery note it doesn't feel too mature this is still young and flirty and juicy but it just has that beautiful powdery touch in there and it just makes it fluffy and just airy beautiful the elixir is just the syrupy deeper version of burberry hair i am going to keep this one because i did think about returning it just because i'm not completely like in awe with it i don't feel like it's that much of a difference that i need to have both of these and you guys know that i'm trying to keep my collection just as under control as i can but i am going to keep this one because 
I know I'm going to go through my Burberry here very quickly. This is one of my husband's favorite scents. I noticed every time that I wear Burberry hair, he compliments me. He tells me I smell good. So I'm just going to keep the elixir in my collection. And hopefully with a couple months, it will get a little bit stronger. The vanilla will probably just like get a little bit more deeper in there and maybe there will be a bigger difference then so i don't want to get rid of it just yet because i think that there might be potential in this one i feel like it's going to be a nice one so that is burberry her elixir i cannot wait to hear your thoughts on this fragrance have you tried it out did you pick it up are you thinking about buying it i would love to hear your thoughts Thank you so much for being here with me today. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed and I will see you guys in my next video.